Hello boys and girls, it is Miss Oates and today we're going to be going over how to solve one-step word problems. So let's go ahead and get started by going over our I can statements. So in this video, I can analyze a one-step addition and subtraction problem and write equations to represent the problems. I can use fact families as a strategy to solve one-step problems and build number sense. And I can interpret models that represent a one-step word problems. And our focus standard for this video is 20A.1. Use addition and subtraction within 100 to solve one and two-step word problems involving situations of adding to, taking from, putting together, taking apart, and comparing. So for today's video, boys and girls, we're going to be talking about some different strategies that you can use to solve a one-step word problem. And the first strategy that I'm going to use is draw a picture. So before I even draw my picture, I'm going to read my word problem at least one or two times. And then I'm going to use the cubes method to dissect my word problems to figure out exactly what I am going to be doing. So... It says that there are 17 players on a team. There are nine girls. The rest of the players are boys. How many boys are on the team? All right, now that I've read my word problem one time, I'm now gonna use the cubes method to dissect the word problem by going over it again. But this time I'm going to be circling my numbers, underlining my question, and then I'm going to box in any clue words that will tell me whether I'm going to be adding or subtracting. So. There are 17 girls, players on the team. So I'm going to circle the number 17. There are nine girls on the team. The rest, I'm going to box in the clue word rest because that's a very important clue word. Of the players are boys. How many players are on the team? Okay, well now I am ready to draw my picture. So I know that there is a total of 17 players on the team. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw 17 circles. So these 17 circles are going to represent these 17 players that are on the team. All right. So now I'm going to go back through my word problem. The rest, there are nine girls. So what that means is I'm going to take this red pen, my red pen, and I am going to color in nine of the circles. And those are going to be my nine girls. All right, now it says that the rest of the players are boys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my blue pen and I'm going to color in the rest of these circles blue. Okay, so now that I've done drawing my picture, what I'm going to go now is I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna count up the nine blue circles that I have, or the, I'm gonna count up the blue circles that I have. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that means that there are eight boys on the team while there are nine girls on the team which gives me a total of 17 players. So what that means is that there are nine total boys on the team. There are nine total boys, eight total boys, excuse me, on the team. Okay, excellent. So now what I'm going to do so I'm erasing my workspace because I'm using the same word problem, but I'm going to use a different strategy. And this time, I'm going to be using the model it strategy. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw a bar model. I'm going to draw a rectangle, and I'm going to divide that rectangle in half. And then I'm going to divide that bottom half of the rectangle in half. So it looks like I have three pieces. So I'm going to go back through and reread the word problem one more time. And as I'm reading, I'm going to fill out the different parts of my bar model. So remember that this, tarp, this top part 
is going to be my whole or my total. And then these two right here are parts. Okay, so there are 17 players on a team. So I'm going to draw 17 as my whole because there is a total number of 17 players on the team. That's going to be my whole. There are not, there are nine girls. So girls is going to be one of my parts and then the rest are boys. Well, that is the part that I am missing. So I'm going to go ahead and put a question mark right there because they want me to know how many boys are on the team. So looking at my bar model, I know my whole, but I am missing a part. So that means I'm going to be subtracting. So when I subtract, 17 minus 9, I kind of know with fat families that my numbers are going to be 7, 9, and 8 because I know 9 plus 8 equals 17. If I know that 9 plus 8 equals 17, then I know from 17 minus 9, I'm missing 8. So because of the bar model, I was able to remember my fat families. So I know that in order to complete this fat family right here, I needed to add eight. So 17 minus nine equals eight. So therefore that means that there are eight boys on the team. And again, I can go ahead and I can fill in the rest of my fat family. So like nine plus eight equals 17, eight plus nine equals 17, and then 17 minus eight equals nine. So that's the rest of my fat family. So that would be using a model it. All right, and then finally, our last strategy is going to be using an open number line. So it says that there are a total of 17 players on the team. Well, I know that the number I'm going to be landing on is 17. So I'm gonna put 17 at the end of my bar model. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start at number nine because the nine is representing the number of girls that I have. So I'm going to be jumping up and then I'm going to be adding up all my jumps to get my missing number. Well, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to get to the nearest 10, which is going to be 10. So I'm going to be jumping one. Now I need to get from 10 all the way to 17, and that's gonna be a big jump. But I know that to get from 10 to 17, I need to jump at least seven times. So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add my jumps. So seven plus one is going to equal eight, meaning that there are eight boys on the team because nine plus eight equals 17. All right, boys and girls, those were some different strategies that you can use to solve a one-step word problem. And remember, with a one-step word problem, you can find your answer in one step. So make sure that you use the cubes method to help you figure out, evaluate what exactly you are going to do, whether you're going to be adding or subtracting. Until next time, boys and girls, bye.